is Mr. Wolf from the scholarship committee as past teacher, coach, and principal at Florence High School. Just want to congratulate the class of 2020. Go Huskies! Hi, I'm Janelle Dodd from the Fremont RE2 School District Board of Education. Good evening. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the following members of the Florence Junior Senior High School Scholarship Committee. The original members, Darlene and Rudolf Morgelman, community members, Sally Provenzano and Steve Wolf, our high school staff, Rebecca Cohen and myself, Mr. Melendrez, the district staff, Jackie Corsentino, the school board member, Janelle Dodd. I'd also like to, like to thank Mike Morton and Raymond James for their commitment to investing the funds and Mrs. Benker for her work to collect applications for the committee. As a member of the Florence Junior Senior High School Scholarship Committee, I am honored to present these next awards for the graduating class of 2020. Between each award, I will take time to explain how the foundation and each award came about. Due to the generosity of the foundation members, over the last 11 years, approximately 300 students have received scholarships totaling over $1.25 million. It is the responsibility of the scholarship committee to be stewards of the endowments, invest the funds wisely, and distribute the funds according to the specific set of criteria that has been established over the past decade, along with the wishes of William and Francis Suzman and the John T. Morris. The, the philosophy and goal of the committee is to try and award every student who successfully completes the application process without depleting the fund itself. The process includes the letter of rec recommendation, an essay, and the infamous interview. Hi, I'm Darlene, and this is Rudel Mergelman. And we want to congratulate all the graduating seniors, the class of 2020 at Florence High School, and we wish you all the best in the future. In 1999, Darlene and Rudel Morgelman came to Florence, Florence High School and asked to meet with the administration. We were informed that as part of an estate, William and Francis Suzman had left a substantial amount to FHS to use for scholarships. William and Francis were brother and sister who moved together uh, to Florence. William worked at Portland and wholesome cement plant, and Francis was a hairdresser. Neither of, of them married. They had no children of their own. They lived simply and accumulated a substantial estate. It was their relationship with their honorary niece, Darlene Mergelman, that led to their bequest. For the past 20 years, one four-year renewable scholarship has been presented to a deserving Florence Junior Senior High School senior. In order to be eligible, students must maintain a 3.0 grade point average to renew the funds. This means that every year, four Florence Junior Senior High School students receive this award. A one-time scholarship are periodically awarded, especially in vocational and trades areas. This year's winner of the Suzman Scholarship is Cassandra Campbell. She will be receiving $8,000 per year for, that is renewable for four years. Congratulations, Cassie. John T. Morris was a friend of the Suzman's. Upon his death, he also bequeathed his estate to the scholarship fund. In 2004, his attorney alerted Superintendent John Merriam that the school district would receive a large check, but no hints as to how much. Morris had also worked at Portland Cement Plant, never married, and lived simply, giving back to Fremont RE2. It is with these funds we present the many John T. Morris one-time awards and two four-year renewable scholarships. In order to be eligible, students must maintain a 3.0 grade point average to renew the funds. 2020 winners of the John T. Morris one-time scholarship monies for $2,000 are Emily Reeder, Kayona Brozek, Tristan Maser, 
Jason Wing, Jimmy Williams, Haley Hunter, Sierra Rucker, and Johnny Maspel. Congratulations. Congratulations. The 2020 winners of the two four-year renewable scholarships are Alyssa Humphrey will receive $7,000 per year for four years, and Alyssa Gilbert will receive $5,000 a year for four years. Congratulations. In addition, the Suzmans and the Morris Monies are combined to award four 1,000 and one 1,000 award that is renewable for four years. In order to be eligible, students must maintain a 3.0 grade point average to renew the funds. The 2020 winners of the Suzman Morris one-time monies of 1,000 are Cassandra Campbell, Alyssa Humphrey, Emily Reeder, and Jason Wing. The 2000 winner of the Suzman Morris Renewable Scholarship for 1000 per year for four years is Haley Hunter. The Patch family is also a local family whose ties to, to Florence Junior Senior High School run deep. As part of their donations to the foundation, two $1,500 renewable four-year scholarships are awarded this year. The 2020 winners of the two $1,500 renewable scholarships are Jimmy Williams and Sierra Rucker. Congratulations. The Provenzano Family Scholarship is in honor of Jim Provenzano, who was a longtime Florence community member. His wife Sally served many years as a counselor at Florence Junior Senior High and was a longtime Florence High School Scholarship Committee member. This year, the 1000 Provenzano Family Scholarship will be awarded to Jason Wing. Congratulations. The Maud Clepsit Scholarship is in honor of Maude Clepson, who, is, who was a teacher at Florence Junior Senior High many years ago and left a small monetary fund for any student going into the educational field. This year's $250 scholarship is awarded to Kayana Rosek. Congratulations. Farmers Market Scholarship is in honor of our local community organization. They provide this $500 scholarship each year to a student going into a vocational field as a way to give back to students. This year's winner of the Farmers Market Scholarship is Haley Hunter. Congratulations. The Doug McClure Memorial Scholarship 
is in honor of Doug McClure, a longtime baker at Rocky Mountain Bank and Trust. And this is a new scholarship this year for a student whose parents have a, an account with Rocky Mountain Bank and Trust. The winner of the McClure Rocky Mountain Bank and Trust one-time $500 scholarship is Jimmy Williams. Congratulations. In addition, our valedictorian and salutatorian will also be awarded a scholarship money. The valedictorian will receive $4,000. This will be awarded to Sydney Connors. Congratulations. The salutatorian is awarded $2,000. This will be awarded to Kara Cavalier. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of this year's winners of the Florence Scholarship Education Foundation. Have a wonderful evening. Hello, my name is Brian Fredrickson, a local attorney. I want to tell you about Ida Jean Fassler and the scholarship fund she left in her estate to benefit Florence High School seniors who desire to go on to college. Jean was born and raised in Florence. Her name at that time was Jean Wilson, affectionately known as Jeannie. She graduated from Florence High School in 1953 and worked for many years as the office manager at Dale Russell Motors in Canyon City, a local Ford dealership. She received numerous awards from the Ford Motor Company for excellence in business management and accounting skills. She loved the town of Florence, especially Florence High School, always taking a vivid interest in the Husky football team. Before Jean passed away, she had asked my law firm to take care of her financial affairs upon her death. In going through her estate papers after her death in 2018, I learned that Jean was quite a family historian, tracing her mother, Ida's lineage, and her father, Tom's lineage, back several centuries to Great Britain. I also found old census records and many family tree drawings of her numerous cousins, nieces, and nephews, some of whom still reside in Fremont County. Jean was a strong woman of faith, regularly attending the United Presbyterian Church in Canyon City. Later in life, Jean came into a rather large sum of money. She was always reluctant to spend it on herself, but rather wished to save it so that it could be used to benefit others after she was gone. In her will, she provided bequests to several charities and a large bequest to fund scholarships for Florence High School seniors. I want to congratulate this year's winners of the Jean Fassler Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $5,000 apiece to Alyssa Gilbert and Johnny Mesopust. I wish you every success in your future endeavors. I know Jean would love to offer you her congratulations as well, if she could. Thank you. the Florence High School Student Council sponsor. All seniors at FHS are eligible for this scholarship. This year's scholarship of $1,000 is awarded to Miss Alyssa Gilbert. Congratulations, Alyssa. My name is Ralph Kunzman. I'm an officer on the Royal Gorge Chapter of EMCCA. We give a scholarship annually of a thousand dollars and you Tristan Maser are the reception the recipient of our, our scholarship this year and congratulations hi 
Cassie, we are so pleased to award you the Academic Scholarship of $500 from the Fremont School and Public Employees Retirement Association. We were so impressed with your academic achievements and your school and community involvement and are very happy to give you the $500 as you continue your education at UCCS. Hello Florence High School Class of 2020. My name is Richard Madison and on behalf of my wife Mary Jo, in memory of our daughter Sarah, I'm here to present the first ever Sarah Michelle Madison Scholarship. Sarah graduated from Florence High School in May of 2017. In May of 2018 she was diagnosed with cancer and over the next 12 months put up a courageous battle. In May of 2019 she passed away. Sarah loved Florence High School. She was autistic and had cerebral palsy. She never learned to read or write and could not do many of the things that each of you can do. Mary Jo and I learned very early on and those that knew her that it was not what Sarah could not do or did not have that defined her. We know that your senior year is ending in a way you could never have imagined. But we hope that each of you too will look into what you have and let that define you and let that define the moment as you move forward. We were honored and humbled by all the applications we received. Reading your applications and resumes brought us hope and we are sure and we do know that each of you will succeed in all that you plan on doing. It is now with great honor, with great pleasure, that we, in memory of our daughter Sarah, award the first ever Sarah Michelle Madison Scholarship to Tristan Mazur. Congratulations, Tristan, and congratulations to the entire class of 2020. Go Huskies!